Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Meghan Markle has discussed her own suicidal thoughts in her first joint interview with Prince Harry in three years. The Duchess of Sussex, who turns 43 today, has launched a campaign alongside her husband to tackle child safety online. In an interview for American broadcaster CBS, the Royals discussed the launch of the Parents Network and spoke with parents who lost their children to suicide, which in many cases were linked to social media usage. Meghan first said spoke of her suicidal thoughts while being a working royal in an bombshell interview with Oprah three years ago. Speaking today, Meghan said, there is a through line when you've been through any level of pain or trauma. Part of your healing journey, certainly part of mine is to be open about it. I haven't really scraped the surface on my experience. I would never want someone else to feel that way. I would never want someone else to be making these plan. I would never want someone else not to be believed. So if me voicing what I have overcome will save someone or encourage someone in their life to really genuinely check in on them, not assume the appearance is good, not assume everything is okay, then I'll take that. The Duchess of Sussex told Oprah in 2021 she couldn't be left alone and told her husband she didn't want to be alive anymore before claiming the Buckingham Palace HR department ignored her plea for help because she wasn't a paid employee. Describing how she considered ending her life believing it was better for everyone, Meghan said, I knew that if I didn't say it, that I would do it. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. I remember how he just cradled me. I said that I needed to go somewhere to get help. I said that I've never felt this way before, and I need to go somewhere. And I was told that I couldn't, that it wouldn't be good for the institution. She said that after confiding in her husband, she was forced to go to the Royal Albert Hall for a charity event in January 2019, claiming photos from that night haunt me. She told Oprah she later reached out to one of the best friends of Diana, Princess of Wales, because she felt unsupported by the palace. She said, when I joined that family, that was the last time I saw my passport, my driving license, my keys, all of that gets turned over. Meghan said Harry had saved my life by agreeing to move to Los Angeles. In the interview, Harry and Meghan spoke to Jane Polly, as the network filmed them meeting a group of bereaved parents. In the interview Harry also spoke of the scariest thing about social media being absolutely anyone can lose a loved one. We always talk about in the olden days, if kids are under your roof, you know what they are up to. At least they're safe. But now, they could in the next room, in a tablet or phone, going down these rabbit holes, and within 24 hours they could be taking their life. Throughout the interview clip with host Jane Polly, the royal couple speak about how parents need to protect children from online harm, reflecting on their own experiences with Prince Archie, 5, and Princess Lilibet, 3. The Duchess said, our kids are young, they're 3 and 5, they're amazing, but all you want to do as parents is protect them. And so, as we can see what's happening in the online space, we know that there's a lot of work to be done there and we're just happy to be able to be a part of change for good. When the broadcaster adds you hope that when your children ask for help, someone is there to give it the Duke adds only if you know to help. At this point we've got to the stage where almost every parent needs to be a first responder, he said. And even the best first responders in the world wouldn't be able to tell the signs of possible suicide. That is the terrifying piece of this. Responding to host Jane Polly saying it was of modest beginning, Megan added, you have to start somewhere. Anyone watching this or anyone able to make change needs to look through the lens of what if this was my son or daughter? Your son or daughter who comes home who are joyful, who I love, and one day, right under my roof, our entire lives change because of something that's completely out of my control. And if you look at it as a parent, there is no way to see it any other way than to try.